And next, let's talk about conditional rendering in React. And in short, in the following videos, we'll learn how to control what is displayed in the browser based on some condition. And let's just start with multiple returns. So as far as the setup in the app JSX, you should import starter from 03. Yep, we're switching the folders, and then starter and then 01 multiple returns. And effectively, once you navigate to the file, you should see just the heading two with two imports for use effect and use state. And as far as the topic, it's actually not controversial or anything new. Let's think about it. In vanilla JS, we can set up multiple returns in a function. So if I have a function, say hello, that is looking for the name parameter. If name exists, I can go with early return. I can say, you know what? The function is going to return hello and then whatever is the name. Now, if the name is not provided, then of course it will bypass the safe condition and then we'll return whatever we type here in the bottom. Now, just keep in mind that by default, JavaScript functions return undefined. So if you're not going to return anything, then basically it's just going to return undefined. So if let's say we invoke the say hello with the parameter, if we provide the argument, then it's going to be hello, and then whatever the argument, if not, then it's going to be hello there. Now, since our components are functions, can we do the same and react? And you could probably already guess that the answer is yes. And effectively in this file, here's the setup. We have use effect and use state. So why don't we set up a state value? And I'm going to call my state value is loading. So that's a tiny side note where a convention is to call Boolean values is and then whatever is that Boolean value. So if it's loading, then is loading. And then the function is set is loading. Again, it's a convention. So taco and burrito is also a good approach, but most likely a lot of times you'll see this type of approach. So I'm going to go with is loading and then we're going to go with set is loading. So that's the function that controls it and we'll set it equal to use state. And the default value is going to be true over here. And essentially it's a Boolean. So we can flip it like a switch true to false and false to true. And then let's keep on moving. Why don't we set up a condition? So I do have my return, which essentially just says heading two with multiple returns basics. However, I can go here with if, and I can say if is loading, basically my state value. If this is true, then I want to return something else. So I'm going to go here with heading two, and we're going to go with loading, and then dot, dot, dot. Now, before you ask, yes, essentially, if you want, you can return entire application over here. I'm just showing heading two, but you can place here 10,000 divs and whatever functionality you want and check it out. Now, since this is true, we actually return this heading two. So we don't even get to this return. And that's how early returns work in JavaScript functions. If this condition is true, then we return whatever we have inside of the curlies. And now the next question is, can we make this dynamic? Because at this point, it's like, okay, I can go here and I type false. And of course, everything is going to work. But I mean, in the real application, you kind of want to change this programmatically, correct? And the answer again is yes. Now, in our case, we'll just tinker with set timeout. But in the following examples, I'll show you how we can actually do that. If let's say we fetch data for now, we'll just basically pretend that we're fetching data. So I'm going to go here with use effect. I'll provide here my callback function. And I'll say that I only want to run it once when the component mounts. And then let's set up set timeout. And inside of the set timeout, we again need to provide a function that's going to be invoked. And then in how long? And in here, I'm going to go with 
3,000, basically three seconds. So those are milliseconds. And I'm just gonna add comment here, done fetching data. Again, this is gonna be pretty common example for using multiple returns. That's why I keep referencing fetching the data. So let's go here with set is loading and let's set it equal to false. And what you'll notice once you save, basically the way it's gonna work, while we're loading, while we're getting some kind of data, we'll display something to the user. So user knows, hey, things are happening. User is not looking at just blank screen. And then once we're good to go, then we'll display basically the JSX we want to show to the user.